Well, hi friends and welcome to Did You Art, the YouTube channel for people who don't take themselves or their art too seriously. So today I thought we would do another quick art journal tutorial or quick uh, art journal page featuring a cactus plant. I love cactus plants. And I am going to use, stop flipping, there. This photo that I found as a reference, it's just a simple little cactus plant. In fact, this doesn't even look real. I don't know, <laughs> but it's a good reference. And I like that it's a small cactus plant. It's got this pretty little terracotta planter and it's got a nice shadow going off to the side. So we can really work with our light source while playing around with different watercolor techniques when we go and color this bad boy in. So let's go ahead and sketch out our cactus plant, roll up our sleeves. And as you know, I like to go and just flip open my journal and whatever page we land on is the page we're gonna use. I don't go front to back like other people do just because it takes the intimidation factor down a bit. There's nothing scarier than looking at the first blank page of a big journal and thinking, oh my gosh, how am I gonna fill this in? Anyway, enough about that. Let's use our trusty watermelon mechanical pencil today and sketch in the cactus. Now this is wanting to roll up a bit the page, so I'm going to just kind of pin it down with my fun little clips here that I got at Michael's for 70% off. So let's look at this. Okay, so it's going to fill up the majority of our page. I want it to be about yay high and end right around here. So if you're looking at this, the pot comes up almost halfway, almost. I'm gonna, let's put it there. And it's got a nice little oval. Just, just sketch that in. It doesn't have to be perfect. My ovals are never perfect. And then it comes down almost at an angle like that. That might actually be too thick. That's okay, maybe it's a thick planner. And then have another line kind of curving to mirror this line up here, like so. There's two little, I can't talk, there's a little ledge there, a little edge to the planner that pops out like that. And then bring that around again. And one more little ledge there. Like that. And then really, this line should actually be right here. It shouldn't be as indented. It's gonna go, it's gonna go all the way down. And just kinda swoop that line around. Okay, let's go back in and clean this up a bit with our eraser. I love cactus plants. I've talked in other videos about how I really don't have much of a green thumb. I try, I really do. I planted a vegetable garden this year where we grew corn, zucchini, tomatoes, technically that's a fruit. And the only thing that really grew that we really were able to harvest was little cherry tomatoes. And my husband hates tomatoes, so basically I have been eating tomatoes with every single meal, trying to give them away to neighbors. A lot of them don't like cherry tomatoes, but that's okay. So this ledge, I'm looking at it, it's too thick. In fact, I might do away with it altogether. Now, let's just do this. Circles and ovals, I'm telling you, they are the hardest thing to draw, at least for me. It's just so hard to get them to look right, especially when you're trying to do um, depth, trying to show an object is three-dimensional. It's really tricky. All right, that's good enough for now. So let's go ahead and draw the body of our cactus. 
I'm gonna have mine start here, and I wanna make it a little bit fatter than the one that's in the picture. I love fat things, fat little things. Fat little things. And because it's a plant and it's organic, it doesn't need to be perfect. In fact, it can be a little wonky shaped. And then down in here, we're gonna have some rocks. Just do different sh sizes of rocks, different shapes. Like that. Just have fun with it. Don't worry about making it perfect because perfect is boring. Okay, so in this cactus there are, uh, I'm not gonna count the outside one, I'm just gonna count the lines in here. There's one, two, three, four, five. And it looks like they all kinda start at the middle of the cactus. Let's go ahead and start with the one in the middle. Just swoop that line down, straight down. Then we're gonna have another one kind of curving off to the side, coming down. Do the same thing again, curving all the way down. And then go and repeat that process on the other side. Uh, looking at this, this looks weird. So I'm gonna change the shape of the cactus a bit. Now it might be elongated and not as fat. There, same thing up here. Like that. And then you wanna erase the back of the pot because obviously we can't see that because the cactus is in front of it. Yeah, that's fun. Now, what I think I wanna do is the background. I always like to do the backgrounds first. So I'm gonna have this pot sitting on a table that's gonna to come to about Let's, yeah, let's bring it up a bit. It's gonna be a high table, like this. So that way we can have the shadow kind of going off into this direction. And then this is gonna be some type of wall or maybe it's gonna be outside. I haven't decided yet. So let's go ahead and start doing a wash. background to dry, let's go ahead and paint in the terracotta pot. Well, this is dry, and as you can see, we've got some pretty big blooms happening up here. And honestly, I'm not even mad about it. I think it's cool. It's almost like a pattern in the background, like wallpaper or clouds or something. I don't know. It's interesting, so I'm just gonna leave it. If you don't like blooms, uh, don't use as much water as I did. That is something I need to work on big time. Um, and you can, if you do have blooms, you could just paint over this, do another wash, and maybe add some salt and some extra texture to it. But I'm just gonna leave it for now. I love it, and I like how this turned out as well. It's got some neat flow, and I like how the pigment kind of curves down to show that this is a pot, that it's a round object. So this is cool. I'm happy with how it's turning out. Now let's go ahead and paint the actual cactus itself. Stop flipping, there. 
So what we're gonna do is pay attention to the darker shades of green because that is showing uh, the shadow, gives it some dimension. So when I go through and paint each of these little sections, I'm gonna pay extra close attention to making sure that the sides are in a darker shade of green, that there's more pigment there, and then of course lighter as we go toward the middle of each section. So let's go ahead and fill that in. On this side, you'll see that I'm making it a little bit lighter green because this is where our light source is coming from. So I'm not going to make it as dark as I am these other sections. So while we're waiting for the cactus to dry, let's go ahead and do the surface here, the tabletop. So I'd like to keep it relatively light, almost a white, but I do wanna have a little bit of shadow in there, some gray. So let's go ahead and use this gray color here. This again is Jane Davenport. Let's use this and just do a super light wash. And I may actually drop some of this terracotta. I might just pick that color up, that pigment up. Oh, that's pretty. And give it just a little something extra. Again, I've got to really watch controlling this water. This brush picks up so much liquid and I'm just not used to it. Something I need to work on. Artist goals, I guess you could say. Hashtag artist goals. Ooh, this brush is new and it's already shedding. I don't like that. And I thought this was a uh, professional grade brush. And I thought professional grade brushes didn't do that. Not dying over that. Not really happy about it. Let's add a little bit more liquid now that I said I want to watch using the liquid. <laughs> And let's pick up some pigment and do the shadow. And it's gonna be coming off to the side here. So I'm gonna take it as close to the pot as possible and then just drag it out. Just dot it in and drag it out. You know what, I wanna make this a little bit darker so I'm actually gonna use some black and I'm gonna switch over to using my number 12 black velvet brush. Dilute this down by adding some water. Let's see. Yeah, that's better. Bring it super close to that, like that. I'm also gonna have a little bit coming down here, underneath just a bit. And now, oops, like that. Let's pick up some of this extra water just by using a big chunk, big wad of toilet paper. And I don't want a perfect edge against the page. I like it kind of messy. Just pick that up a bit. I'm gonna bring this line up a bit there. There, that's nice. 
Okay, let's let it dry. Once I get rid of these annoying, what are these? What is that? Oh, is this an eraser? Oh no, it's an eraser thing. Okay, got it. Okay, now let's let it dry. I'm not gonna touch it anymore. Let's just walk away and let it dry. I'm back. I just went downstairs and had the most amazing pickle ever as a snack. Our neighbor um, grows cucumbers and she had a ton this year. So she made homemade pickles and was nice enough to share some with me. But enough about that. Let's start going in and putting in the little, the spikes, the little thorns on the cactus. Now, let's try to get this as accurate as possible. On each little section of the cactus, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So, and let's see, where do we want to put them? Let's put them, hmm. I'm trying to think, okay, so if the dark is here, let's put them here on this white edge. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Now, in order to do this, I am actually going to try out this Chinese white that I filled, it's pretty much dry. This is a Daniel Smith Chinese white. And I wanna see how opaque it is, if it works. But for the actual circle that is here, whoops, in the center, I'm going to use a paint over pen. And I'm going to use one of my Liquitex acrylic paint markers. I like these, they have really good pigment. This one's been well loved, well used, as you can see. So let's use this to get the dots in and then go back over with a brush in the Chinese white. So that's done. It's drying fairly quickly, but I'm gonna let it rest for a minute just to make sure. And while that's drying, let's go ahead and paint in the rocks, these little pebbles. And I wanna use this brush because it's got a smaller tip, um, or this one. They're pretty much the same. Let's use this one because I feel like I can control the water a little bit better. Now the rocks are this pretty brown, kind of a taupey brown color. Let's use these Jane Davenport ones again. Remove that. Because I think that that color is going to complement the uh, almost burnt sienna terracotta color of the pot. So these are still wet. I'm gonna drop in some super dark pigment off to the side, just to give it some shadow. Off to the side of the rocks like that, pretty easy. It's gonna come down a bit. Yeah, like that. Now this area in here, I think I'm going to paint a dark brown, but you wanna, you want to, I can't talk, you wanna wait for the rocks to dry before you go back in and try to um, fill it in, just so it doesn't bleed out and look weird. Bleed out? That's gross. I can't believe I just said that in reference to watercolor. How violent. You know what I decided? I think I wanna make these circles bigger. I'm looking at this photo again, and the little round circles take up a lot more room on the cactus, so let's go back in and make these a bit bigger.
This is actually acrylic ink that I use. The Sharpie marker didn't work out as well as I thought, and that's okay. These really aren't my favorite thing to use. This is pretty cool. I like how it's opaque. It took to the page well. It's not gonna come off if for some reason I decide to go back over this with a wash, which I'm not. What we're gonna do is go over this with our fabulous Micron pen and make scribble lines. Love my scribble lines. So let's start with the pot here. And I'm gonna just go around the edge like so. And this kind of comes down. There's like a little ridge there. I love not worrying about the lines, just making it organic and flowy and loose. Very sketchy. It's sketchy. It's so sketch. I don't know if I'm gonna put a line over there. Instead, I'm gonna put a thick scribble line on this side because that's where the shadow is. Bring it around down here, lighten it up when I get to this side, but make it darker on this side for sure. And there you have it, folks. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. I like the background, those big blooms. I like the loose organic scribble lines. Those are my favorite things to do. And I love this cactus. In fact, I think I wanna go out and get one <laughs> because they're so low maintenance and they're just the cutest little things. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I appreciate your support. And if you feel up to it, go ahead and join our private Facebook group. I'd love to meet you and see some of your artwork. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and take it easy.